Hey all, Steve from Guitar Niche here. <clears throat> so I'm working away on this wonderful uh, Epiphone uh, 59 Les Paul Standard that was uh, created in collaboration with uh, Gibson Custom Shop. And what I, f <laughs> what we can see uh, without too much difficulty is that poker chip, as it's called, the surround here is not quite oriented with the center of the hole. It's got to be taken care of one way or another. So we're going to try to see if we can fix that up a little bit. So I've got my handy dandy little little tool here for just such uh, jobs. It's a little wrench that uh, is knurled enough to to get around the collar. And what I'm going to do that is the top nut, I should say, this threaded insert here. And see if I can find out what the issue is. Oops. Ran away on me. Okay, so. What is the problem? Okay, so it looks like the chip itself is simply not centered where it should be or could be. Now sometimes these things are, are stuck down pretty good and you don't want to... It does have a tack on the back. But um, yeah, look at that. That's like super... Yeah. Super not... Um, <laughs> refined, I might say. Sometimes these things have a, uh, they're just sitting there floating, and if you go to tighten this up, they'll just spin. That's a pain in the ass. Now, there's ways to uh, uh, get them to stick a little bit, but that's for a later date. That's a trick for another video. So what I, all I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to orient the, the switch as close to center as I can get it, working around the camera. And then pop the, the biscuit slash poker chip back on and make sure that that is relatively centered and sticks back down a little bit. Any glue left over and stuff, I can, I can clean that up with naphtha, lighter fluid, whatever you want to call it. Pop this back on. The switch is oriented properly. The other issue, though, is... Um, hang on a second. The knob squeaks. You ever have a squeaky knob? Not fun having a squeaky knob. It means your knob needs lube. At least the switch does. <laughs> anyway. At least we know the chip issue is uh, taken care of. I'm working on the edge here, so I got to be careful. All right, so what do we got here? That's just darn stiff. That's what that is. So the other thing I'm considering here is, does it have anything to do with the motion or the, the, the friction on the actual contacts? And they're, you know, these things are pretty light. I'll put a tiny little, again, I'll put a little, tiny little bit of lube on the cam on the end here. Just, you know, just a toothpick so that it's, it's, um, it's not going to cause any damage or, or anything like that. It's a safe material to use around instruments and stuff like that. And just to make sure, I don't think I got that one. That one side as well as I could. Ah, camera's in the way all the time, but whatever. This is what we deal with. Good. Okay, I'm going to clean up a little bit of that slop. Because that was pretty generous. We don't want to get that too far down into the, to where it's interfering with the contacts. So 
and I will take care of that afterwards to make sure. But there we go. Oh, that's night and day. Night and day. Okay, well, that's how it works. You think it's one thing and it turns out to be another. Make sure that that's oriented the right way. Well, there's one way to do it. Uh, here I got. Okay, I got the the bridge volume up, so that's got to go in like a soul. Okay. Get back to this. Dandy. Tighten that up. Poker chip looks good. Action is great. Problem solved. Okay. Well, I gotta say, I don't know if I've ever come across that problem before, but Problem solved. Great. Okay. Just uh, check the orientation of the, the switch to make sure it's on treble. Okay. And that works like a champ. Okay. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. As always, have fun. Play loud. Have a great day. And read the description below for some great freebies and knowledge. Okay. Anyway, thanks a bunch. See ya.